Okay, so today, beautiful day, we're going to be looking at the power tools that I use. Um, so I'll just go around and explain each one and why I like them so much. Uh, this, uh, obviously we've got such a bright day today, you probably won't appreciate how bright this is, but this is an awesome light. Um, I will be buying another one or two of these. What I do like about them as well is when I'm working outside on a scaffold, um, which we did do, you think to yourself you're not going to really be working outside in the dark, but um, this last uh, winter time we were, and these uh, were absolutely brilliant for us. So again, I do want to buy another couple of those, which I will do. Uh, we have uh, the sight radio, which um, I don't use the radio, I just use the auxiliary, and this plays all day long, fantastic music. Absolutely love it. Super. Obviously we have the charger for my batteries. We then have a look here. This is uh, the only thing that I don't have um, that is uh, no, not cordless. So this is a 240, so obviously always on a, an RCD. And um, normally I cut this, I'll use this for cutting um, my bricks and that. I need, do need to get bricks or uh, like a proper one, but, but at the minute I'm quite happy with this. So it's done quite a bit of work for me. Um, now this mini grinder is absolutely brilliant. It's steel battery. Now this, what I do like is how narrow it is, so you can really hold it well. And the operating is a little switch and this lever. So your thumb operates it all, so that's just like this. So what I really like about that, when you're using it, obviously you're just flicking up and as soon as you take off, it does stop. Um, I used um, uh, a blue version of this uh, not so long ago and it had a button on it and the body is thicker so it's really awkward to hold and uh, when you want to switch it off you have to use two hands to flick the switch down because it's really awkward when you're trying to do something to keep flicking it on and off with your thumb there. Uh, and again, this for, for safety and for how easy it is to use and hold, uh, this is absolutely brilliant. I, I use this nearly every day. I use it for drainage, cutting pipes, and you can see all the dust inside. Um, bricks get cut um, <laughs> nearly every day. So I do love that. Now, as a brick layer, um, I use this for taking windows out occasionally, but with um, this blade, which I have to say, I really did have to look hard to find this. This is a tungsten tipped one, and obviously when you put that in there, if you're using uh, th this for, um, uh, or working on a wall that's uh, got lime joints and lime mortar, with this blade in, as long as you don't go straight, if the wall's straight on here, if, as long as you don't go straight into the wall, if you feed it sideways, it will cut out joints. I was really amazed when I turned that, and um, again, this has been used, uh, not just for cutting windows out, but also for taking joints out as well. So, but you do need a blade like that, really good. Now we come to, my little me machine. I really absolutely love this and um, it's uh, done so much work for me. Obviously you have the hammer drill, you have just hammer so if you're just chiseling small bits of concrete, obviously nothing major. Um, this in here just on the hammer, fantastic little machine. You can just have it on drill as well. Um, I have to say I never use it on that, it's always hammer drill when I use it. Um, but I'm going to come back and speak to you about this um, at the end. Uh, so we'll revisit this in a short while. Next. Obviously we have the screwdriver, which um, to be honest, carpenters use these a lot. Um, me as a bricklayer, I'll just use it mainly on setting out. When I'm setting out my arches, uh, I'll have uh, wood pieces in 
and you'll see the old drill um, centre holes and things for um, putting a screw in for when I'm doing um, centre points and striking points and everything. Um, actually on site, uh, when I'm putting profiles up, um, you'll see this will have the fitting in just to screw them into the wall. Um, so it does get a use, but not a huge amount of use. This one, however, gets used nearly as much as my mini grinder, the impact driver. And again, this has got different settings on it. So if you're using tech screws, you can just alter the settings here and the torque will change to enable you to um, put the drills in uh, on the, like the tech screws. Um, so again, this have to be, I've got to say, used every day. So a fantastic little machine that is. And the last thing I bought, the most recent one, um, is this because I found that I was doing, uh, when I'm doing my arches, um, setting out and cutting out uh, all my arch centres, uh, this has become probably like my best friend on that. Um, a great and lo lo lovely little machine. So I said I was going to return to this one. And the reason I want to return to this one is because of the the customer care that I got. This I was using, um, I bought all these from a trade um, show and this one um, messed up on me when I was uh, drilling a doorway out. And the reason I was drilling a doorway out is because if you use a grinder, you create loads and loads of dust, not just for yourself, but for everyone around you. So what I tend to do, um, if I do have like time to do it, I drill a series of holes all the way down and then I'll chop it out. And uh, that way, no dust, and it takes probably um, where if you're going to use a grinder, we'll say five minutes to cut a doorway out. And it probably took me about 15 minutes with this, but you have no dust, and that, that's the reason why I like it. But um, just over halfway through, um, I thought the battery had died, but the actual machine had died. Um, phoned up, customer care, I have to say, with this, absolutely brilliant. No questions asked. They just. Uh, swapped it over straight away and very very similar as well because when I bought everything I bought four batteries and after I've had everything I have to say two years all of these things I didn't want to do a review on them uh, before then because I wanted to get full use out of them before I started talking about them and um, again with the customer care these are my favorite tools brilliant because um, again with the battery I had a battery uh, mess up on me and just a, a phone call and with no hesitation, just changed um, straight over for me. So uh, I have to say, uh, as a, a tool, if you have a yellow or a blue one, or a red one that you can get now as well, um, all the machines are pretty much like for like. Um, one or two might just have slight little differences on them, but pretty much they're all very, very similar. So where I find these are uh, the best is because the customer care that I found with these was just um, top-notch absolutely brilliant so next time we go out um, hopefully you'll um, just uh, remember one or two things I've sort of mentioned on here but um, yeah I'm well happy with these <laughs>